What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream on this Thursday evening, May 6th. 2021's at 8, 8.18 8, p.m. West Coast time here in California. Uh, latest quake, a 4.9, striking the earthquake 3D globe out here in, in the uh, Pacific area, right around the Vanuatu area, uh, west of Fiji, uh, southeast of the Solomon Islands area. We have seen a little increase in earthquake activity throughout the day there, including some deep movement with a 4.5 striking uh, right around the Fiji Islands area at 574 kilometers below the surface. Taking a look at the West Coast map here, uh, the USGS, all magnitudes. See a little increase in earthquake activity in the uh, North American side of the plate boundary, which is the San Andreas Fault, stretching into the coast range up here around Willits. Uh, geyser activity on a roll today, but that's uh, typical for earthquake activity and geyser activity in that region. Uh, this microquake activity stretching through the Bay Area down along the Calaveras Fault System. Uh, a little bit on the Hayward Fault System as well. Uh, so a little bit of uh, microquake activity definitely ramping up into the North American side here. An area to watch pretty closely uh, for some possible movement there. You can see that line uh, well defined uh, with the, all that microquake activity. A little bit further movement here, a 2.1 near the Pinnacles off the San Andreas Fault System by about uh, oh, a little ways, maybe about half a mile or a mile to the east at a uh, point, negative 0.3 kilometer depth. I'm sure that's going to be readjusted once they uh, observe that. Looking down south here, a little bit further movement on the Pacific side, Pacific side of the plate, uh, right around the San Jacinto Fault area. No swarming uh, or major activity to report in that region. Uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet, including all areas of uh, the Intermountain West area. Oklahoma, seeing a little bit of further movement. Uh, looks like some uh, microquake activity taking place out there around uh, north of Oklahoma City, around Enid, Stillwater, and a little explosion out there uh, northeast of Tulsa. As we make our way around the globe, you can see things relatively calm and quiet through the Aleutian Islands and still very quiet throughout the Japan area with only a 4.3 earthquake at a fairly reasonable depth there, 81 kilometers inland below the surface of the Japan Trench area. Uh, just a little 4.3 striking. Other than that, no major earthquake activity or even moderate activity to report for this region. Most of it's been confined out here to the western, southwestern side of the Pacific Ring of Fire throughout the Solomon Islands, Indonesia area, and also near the Philippines here with that 5.1. Yeah, Looks like uh, shaking things up out there inland uh, at about 25 kilometers around some populated areas. Uh, no doubt 5.1 definitely can fill that. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Trimmer. Uh, we don't want to go to that one. We want to go to the new updated one, and that's going to be this one right here. 456 epicenters of Trimmer taking place out here in the same areas that we've been watching for a few weeks now. Central Oregon. Well, not Central Oregon. The coast over here, Central Coast of Oregon, uh, stretching into parts of Northern California as well. We are seeing a little migration up here to the north, uh, right around the Portland area. But overall, that's the only movement uh, along the Cascadia that we're witnessing uh, right here in this little southern area, central southern area of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, what else we got, folks? I think that's about it. Uh, feels like I've been repeating myself or maybe deja vu kicking in. Who knows? All right, guys, have a good night. Um, you know, just kind of watch the West Coast. We're looking, you know, as I mentioned, the microquake activity ramping up in this area uh, inland on the eastern side of that plate boundary uh, obviously some some uh, adjustment going on in that region of california a little bit of movement in the sacramento valley earlier too some deeper movement a uh, 2.6 looks like about uh, 28 kilometers or so below the surface near willows into the uh, foothills area just before you get into the mountains the coast range area in the valley all right, guys, have a good night. Uh, we'll chat to you later. And make sure you stay safe out there. Peace out.